So my bench has four vices on it, but as we all know, four is never enough. So I found, I found, that thing. Now this, this is my dream vice. This is a pattern maker's vice that will do everything and anything, and it will do them all at the same time. It's just like the most amazing vice that has ever been made. The problem is, it's big. It is way too big for my bench. So I found hmm, this little guy, which I mean, it's not all that little, but in comparison, it's very little. This one will work. So the two problems with the other one is number one, the arm was too long. It would come out the end of the skirt, or if I put it on the ends, it would run into the stretcher. This one's short enough, it'll do that. And I can't just like put a hole in the stretcher because this needs to pivot and swing. So um, I need all that space. So if you've ever seen anyone mount these, um, and if you wanna see a good video, Acorn to Arabella has one, um, and they actually mount the front of the bench flush with this, and that works okay, but that means that all of this jaw sticks out past the front. And if you look at the original drawings, they actually have this jaw recessed into the bench. And that's what I wanna do with this, so that this face is flush with the rest of the bench. Actually, just proud about a 16th of an inch. That's how deep I need this to be. And uh, this, this is gonna hurt. <laughs> Almost there, at depth right there. So now we see if this actually will fit in that slot. Almost, almost. I think that's our fit. A little adjustment. Blam, 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 blam. I love it when I forget to turn the audio back on. Ooh.
Okay. And that should swing down until it's there. Nice. I need to bring that out by that dimension. So let's cut out to here. Now the question is, how deep is that? Where it needs to be. Now, bring it much farther. Actually, this square is not gonna work, is it? <laughs> it's not a whole lot of reference area right there. Can you say temporary? Ah, oh, that's what's running in there. So lift it up. how this actually fits. Does it actually fit? Hey, look at that. Flush with the pinch top. A little more, because I don't want it proud. I want it a little bit below flush, actually. Just a hair below flush. See what we got. Oh, still sitting there. He's up. Surprisingly tiring. <laughs> okay, let's see if we can get this in. Like. For those, I need something that this will slide into. So we go forward. That was a yes. Magnet. 
Oh, now it wants to connect to the frame. Ah. There we go. There's one. There we go. We've got a hole slightly in the wrong place. That's way over there. There we go. I want it right there. True. So why exactly do I need another vise? Now I'm going to go into more detail on this in another video, but basically this is a pattern maker's vise. A pattern maker could do anything. Uh, this has standard dogs like you would expect, but it's got four of them. So you could actually clamp something round between them. So I can have something round in the middle that clamps it. And then not only can I keep these parallel, but I can move this and I can actually put an angle in there. So if I want to clamp something with a wedge, I can clamp down on the wedge. And if changing the angle wasn't enough on there, you might occasionally have something that has a compound angle. So you can put in this vise and this will rotate up and down so you can actually clamp something with a compound angle. Now if that's not enough, then you can actually loosen this up and you can rotate this and clamp it at any particular angle. So if you want to work on something at some weird angle, you can do that up and down. Also, you can clamp it up here and then you can rotate the head. And now you can work on it at other angles like that. And I can even bring this back down and work on something of this nature. Then I can rotate even farther and I've got these jaws that I can use at any particular angle. And then on top of that, we still have the rotational force and clamping and the dogs that come through from both sides. So basically, you can hold anything at any time, at any angle, and still have a really good clamping force on it wherever you need it to be. And if all that isn't enough, this vise has a 15-inch mouth opening. And you can clamp some logs and other big things in here because it just keeps coming and it keeps coming and it keeps coming and it keeps coming. And this is the small version. The big version can clamp up to 24 inches. And you can get something all the way up to about there. That's a vice. That's, that's a really serious vice. I, I think I need some counseling. So there you have it. This is a pattern maker's vice, and I will be doing a video here soon actually going into detail about what this is, why it's so cool, and some of the fun things that this can do because it is really an amazing vice. Um, now, that being said, do you need one of these? No. Uh, if you're doing most general woodworking, a regular leg vise or an end face vise, those are all you need. Um, I got this so that I can show and demonstrate different ways of clamping, different ways of holding things and trying them out. And yes, uh, this is very cool and I'll be using it a good bit more. Um, but unless you're doing a lot of really organic shapes or weird, odd things, um, you're probably not going to find yourself needing this all that often. It's just one of those really cool things that if you do have it, then you're, you're, you're happy you have it. Um, but if you don't have it, then you're, you're, you're probably not going to need it. But uh, yeah, if you want to see more about that, stay tuned. I'll have the video coming out on the second channel actually describing what this is and how it works and what it's for. So if you like that, then throw me a comment down below and let me know. Also, if you think I should have done something better or you have something I could learn, let me know that down below. Any questions, thoughts, ideas, snide remarks, or even just comment down below. Thank you. That does help out the channel. Anytime you do that or you hit the like, the share, subscribe, uh, it helps us get in front of more people, helps the channel grow, and it really keeps us going. So thank you for that. As well as that, there's a bunch of people over here. They are the ones who are quite literally keeping us going. Without patrons on Patreon, uh, we wouldn't exist. We are completely sponsored by the viewers. Thank you for that. Uh, with patrons and members here on the channel, those are the people who click the little join button down below. Uh, we, we completely are sponsored by you guys. So we get to make the videos that we want to make and the videos you want us to make rather than the videos that some company wants us to make. So I hope you like that. If you do, then think about becoming a patron or a member here on the channel. And until next time, have a wonderful day. You know you've gotten to a midlife crisis when you can actually pick out what is your coolest vice. <laughs>